In the last lesson, you learned how to name the notes on the staff, and now you're going to learn about the notes that go above and below the staff. So just to review, notes that are all in a row are drawn on a line, then a space, then a line, then a space, then a line, then a space, then a line. And that's how we count up. The musical alphabet uses letters A through G, and then after G, we would go back to A again. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The bottom line of the treble clef is E, E for Queen Elizabeth. The bottom line of the bass clef is G, G is for George. Okay, going up above the staff, here is what it looks like. These extra lines that are drawn above the normal five lines of the staff are called ledger lines. They're temporary extra lines that we use when we have a note that goes up there. We are going to be going up from this top note. When we were on the staff, we said line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line. As we go above, this isn't really in a space. It's on top of a line. So we say on the line, above the line. On an extra ledger line, we have to add one there, above the extra ledger line. Then we add another ledger line on the ledger line, above the ledger line. We then add a third one as we're going up on the ledger line, above the ledger line. Same thing on the bass clef. On the line, above the line. We add an extra line. On the line, above the ledger line. On the second ledger line, above the second ledger line. On the third ledger line, above the third ledger line. And we could even keep going beyond this. You could go into infinity. But of course I didn't want to do that, so I stopped at three. Okay, now we're going to name the notes. This is an F. We get there by counting up from the bottom. Line, space, line, space. We know this is E on the bottom line. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So that's how we got F. As we go up, we go forward in the musical alphabet. What's after F? G. After G, there's no H, we say A, and B, C, just going forward in the alphabet as we go up in order. What is this note name? We can count up from the bottom. G for George, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now we're going to go forward in the alphabet. That's easy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Back to A. And we could keep going. And we would just keep going forward in the alphabet and adding ledger lines. Here's how we go down. Ledger lines are back. This time they are below the staff. Our first note is on the line. That's our E right there. E for Elizabeth. Our next note is below the line. Now we add an extra line on the ledger line, below the ledger line. Now we add another ledger line on the second ledger line, below the second ledger line. On the third ledger line, below the third ledger line. Base clef, same thing. On the line, below the line. On a ledger line, below the ledger line on a second ledger line, below the second ledger line, on the third ledger line, below the third ledger line. And we could keep going, but obviously I stopped. We know this is E, E for Elizabeth. As we're going down, we're going backwards. It's harder to do than going forwards. Before E in the alphabet is D. Before that is C. Before that is B. Before that is a, now we're going back to G, F, 
E. Same concept on the bass clef except for G is for George. We start on G. Then we go backwards one in the alphabet. F. Backwards one. E. D. C. B. A. And then G. And that is all there is to ledger lines.